Pop off the engine cover. Or remove the intake. Right here. Just pulls up and out. Release it. I'm just connecting the intake to the manifold. Pull the brake clip back. It locks it. I like to cut the zip ties. We secure it afterwards. Be careful not to cut the wires. Back the wire off. Again, press the red tab back to unlock it. Be careful not to break them, they do break. Usually these hoses get stuck, just give them a little twist. You'll have them pop. Back here. The reason for doing this, we don't want to pull this tree out right here because it'll mess up the threads with the push. So we can just replace the zip tie itself instead of replacing the fastener. Again, instead of breaking these whole clips off, just replace the zip ties. Eight millimeter bolts. This right here, it's another new plant. You gotta get off the support bracket so you can remove this bracket right here. These ones are kind of hard because they usually break. You can get, try to get behind it. Push forward. So then you gotta remove this. This is a 13 millimeter. Once we remove that, we can remove this bracket right here and pull off the manifold. This is just a, a 
some support, like cushion for the intake manifold. Just gonna remove it, tear it. I like to cover up the intake manifold, make sure we don't get nothing inside. Don't want nothing in there. Just a safety precaution. Now these are our coils. We got three here, three there. Push the clip. I have to use a screwdriver, a little pocket screwdriver once in a while. Help push the clip in. Move it off. Careful when you're doing it, you don't want to pull on the wires. Pull the wires and you can get it out of the, out of the plug itself. I like to do one at a time. I like to pull them all out. Sometimes you need a magnet to get it out. Plugs are not too bad, no oil on them, so that's good. If there's ever oil on it, there's a seal on the side for the spark plugs. It comes with a valve cover kit, so this one looks pretty decent. I recommend using dealership or OEM recommended spark plugs. You never want to go with any different. Always double check the spark plug gap. These ones, this one, the 3.6. Uh, calls for 0 0.043 of a gap. You just want to be gentle with it. So before you put the spark plug in, a little bit of anti-seize. A lot of threads. Be careful when you're putting the spark plug in because we don't want it to, to fall in the hole hit the tip and then mess our gap up. So you're gonna just put it in real slow. Make sure you don't slam it into the bottom. Make sure you're in the threads. You don't wanna to go too tight on these things. Obviously not too loose either. But right there it's tight. And I'm gonna give it a little and that's it. Just not a whole lot of muscle, just make sure they're tight. Now you're gonna repeat this process all the way around. We'll put our coil pack back in. Again, we wanna make sure there's no oil in it.
Now it's just gonna be reversal of what we what we already did. Put the fat on. Make sure all double check all your work. Saving the long run. Always make sure your clips are in there. Um, your 10 millimeters. You're going to aluminum head. It's not gonna be a lot of torque on them. Um, pretty much 14 foot pounds is usually right where it's at. I'd have to look at the specs the specs on this one. You want to make sure your gaskets are still in place for your intake. If they're flattened, you need to replace them. These ones are looking pretty good still. So we're just making sure all of our, our work's done so we don't have to come back over here and redo it all. When we put it back in, we want to make sure that these two bolts go back into the support bracket right here. start all the manifold bolts. You want to make sure nothing got pinched in the back. Everything is still free and clear. So for now, we're going to start the center. And we're just going to make it tight. We're not going to go crazy tight right now. We're not going all the way tight so we can get the torque specs from the dealer. Put these 10 mils back on. Support bracket. back in so when you get these two in there the bottom screw the bottom bolt you're just going to try to wiggle it back and forth so it gets in there nice and tight you can get the hand thread it take our 13 we're going to tighten that bolt down brackets last that way we can get our our intake manifold tightened down and if it's tightened down it might go down we want to loosen up with and the support bracket will go down as well okay so we're gonna put the tightening sequence in the video for you guys to see it it uh, the torque specs is 89 inch pounds so I got my torque torque wrench set bracket Bracket the 10 millimeter nuts. 
Now we're just gonna go ahead and secure everything back the way it needs to go. Told you we'll replace the zip ties easier than doing the whole clip. We'll put the intake back in. Make sure you slip this in the proper position for there. We secure this. I put this on these nipples right here, just pop back into place with all the points. There it is, you just did spark plugs on a 2016 Dodge Challenger 3.6 liter.